Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, in his out, he's in between us. It's me, Dan, and welcome back to another Pat Report, The Bad Bits. It's Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. Well, yet again, we have another sick pedo bastard being spared jail. I'm sure if I go back through all of my reports, there will be a significant number of suspended sentences for this offence compared to those who do actually get locked up. 57-year-old Thomas Murphy from Warwickshire in the West Midlands admitted last month at Coventry Magistrates Court possession of indecent images of children. It seems that every report I have found on this has been a copy and paste job from possibly a police statement or a statement from the Press Association. There is literally no details in any of the reports that I found and they are all word for word identical in every publication. So I have no details of the judge at this time or how many images he was in possession of, only that he had indecent images of children in category C. It says that Murphy was given a reprieve after pleading guilty and as a result he was only given a community order, including taking part in a sexual offenders programme and 100 hours unpaid work. Murphy was also made subject to a sexual harm prevention order and will sign a sex offenders register for five years. Ordered to pay £185 court costs and £85 victim surcharge. If I do find out who the judge was, then obviously I will let you know in a future video. Staffordshire Police Constable PC Lee Tatton pleaded guilty yesterday at Birmingham Crown Court to attempting to engage in sexual communication with a child and four counts of making indecent images of a child. 54-year-old Tatton was arrested December 10th last year by the police force's Operation SafeNet team and was immediately suspended. Yet even after admitting his offences at court, it said that rather than being immediately dismissed, Staffordshire Police feel they still need to keep him on suspension while awaiting internal disciplinary proceedings. Assistant Chief Constable Scott Green said Tatton's actions are unacceptable and have caused harm and distress to the very people we should be protecting and keeping safe. His actions fell well below the high standard that the public and the force demands of and expects of police officers, but are still paying him. Tatton will be sentenced at Birmingham Crown Court on November the 2nd. 45-year-old Lee Turner from Carlisle Crescent, Castleford, appeared at Leeds Crown Court yesterday, where he admitted three counts of making indecent images of children between the ages of six months. Six fucking months and 15 years, including 13 videos and 1,992 images uh, ca categorised as Class C, three videos and 119 images in Class B, six videos and 84 images in the most serious class, Category A. These involved at least one image involving an animal. Holly Clegg, prosecuting for the Crown, said there was clear evidence that Turner had gone searching for abuse images. During his police interview, Tatton admitted to being aroused by the images and said he, but said he had no interest in children. What the fuck? Clearly, if you're aroused by something, you have a fucking interest in it, you sick cunt. Mitigating for Turner, Andrew Semple said that. Yep, you got it. Turner's relationship with his partner had broken down. He had depression. He is unemployed and has health issues with no previous convictions. Ah, oh, well, boo-fucking-who. Judge Simon Phillips QC said, It's a sad state of affairs to see somebody before the court for the first time, but this is serious offending. No shit it's serious. The creditor's cunt said he got off on the images of kids being abused for fuck's sake, and he had an image of a video or video which included an animal and over 1,100 other fi files. I'd say that was fucking obviously serious. So tell me, Judge Simon Phillips QC, what proportionate punishment are you going to offer this dirty bastard? Eight months in jail. Suspended for two fucking years. So, no proportionate punishment then. A 35-year-old married paedophile teacher, Candice Barber. Yep, this one's a woman. Is said to have had sex with a 15-year-old pupil told the boy she could be pregnant with his child and threatened to take him down with her if he told anyone about their affair. Jurors heard how she had approached the child at a sports award evening, added him on Snapchat Messenger and later asked him if he wanted to meet privately. 
Barbara allegedly picked him up in her car and drove to a field to have sex and later sent the boy topless pictures of herself. I simply don't get it. Are these women who do this in relationship with men with tiny dicks or something? How the hell can sleeping with a child be of any enjoyment other than the sick feeling of control over them? Barbara was said to have been found out after the head teacher of the school, Princess Riseborough School in Buckinghamshire, came into possession of one of the images that had been circulating between pupils. Barbara said her Snapchat account must have been hacked and denies the charges. Opening the case, Richard Milne, prosecuting, said it all started at a sports event on September 27, 2018, when she came over to ask him to borrow his phone. She had possession of his phone and she put her details into his Snapchat account. He thought it was a bit weird as, his mates with, as he was mates with her son, who was at the same school. Things developed on her part by her sending him messages. She would tell him she was having a bath or a shower and then ask him if he wanted to meet. The court heard how after arriving in a car and asked if there was somewhere private they could go, the boy suggested some fields at 5pm on school day. So they went there to have sex. Jurors heard how Barber had proposed staying at a hotel as a special treat for the boy's 16th birthday, which he politely declined. Mr Milne said he was not proud of what happened. He was not showing off. It was not some sort of fantasy. He was extremely concerned and nervous when the rumours were going around. By law, teachers are not allowed to have any kind of sexual relationship with students under the age of 18, even if they are over the legal age of consent because they're in a position of trust. When the boy, who can't be named for legal purposes, was called in to speak to his headmaster, he said he initially denied having sex with Barber. Speaking to a member of the child abuse team at Aylesbury Police Station, he said, I lied because she had told me she could be pregnant with my child and I began to panic. I lied to pretty much everyone except my friends. She said that if I was going to snitch, snake on her basically, she was going to bring me down. I was like, are you going to accuse me of rape? She was like, dot, dot, dot. Obviously, I got angry and I did not talk to her after. Barbara was arrested on March the 12th last year and during her interview produced a prepared statement denying having sex with the boy. She claimed her pregnancy was widely known around the school, although she later lost the baby and that her husband was the father. A social worker attended Barbara's home the following day for an assessment, at which point the teacher admitted to sending a naked picture but denied having sex with the boy. Mr Milne told the jury things were strained between her and her husband. Sick and fucking tired of hearing that shit. The boy had paid her attention and she had let her guard down and started talking to him. Well, hang on. She hardly let her guard down, indirectly threatening to accuse him of rape, saying she was going to take him down with her and not the actions of someone who let their guard down. She groomed the boy and then abused him. Fucking simple as that. The court heard how the social worker paid another visit and Barbara asked her not to include what she said in any official reports, warning that she would deny having ever said it. Mr Milne said the defence is likely to be that she, the defendant, did not engage in any sexual relationship with the boy. In other words, it was simply made up. Although it may well be accepted that she, in social media terms, accepted a friend's request sent by the complainant to help him out with a problem that he was having with one of his friends, it was he who kept on calling her and pursuing her in what may be described as an unhealthy manner and threatened to tell a teacher that something was going on. Barber from Wendover, Buckinghamshire, denied three counts of causing or inciting a child under age 16 to engage in a sexual act, one count of sexual communication with a child, one count of causing or inciting a child to engage in sexual activities while in a position of trust, and one count of causing a child to watch a sexual act by a person in a position of trust. The trial continues. Isn't it a shame she didn't choose a career in the police? She'd be back at work by now. Big thank you to every single one of the channel supporters, especially our Patreon supporters. Your support is truly appreciated and really goes a long way to help. And that's all I have for you in today's Too Much For YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials, including teachers. Good night all. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
If you like the content and you'd like to help support the channel, you can do so. In the description of every video, there are some links to ways that you're able to help support the channel so I can continue putting out content. If you're unable to help us in that way, hit that subscribe button up the top there. If you haven't already, become a subscriber. That is support enough. Share the videos, comment, like, it all helps. If you're looking for something else to watch, up top there is my latest video. Down the bottom there is a video that YouTube recommends for you.